Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Oge and you're watching About the Book and Stuff, a place where we freely talk about books however we want. So guys, in today's video, I will be doing a review on El Nathan John's book. Again, titled Becoming Nigerian. So a few weeks ago, I did a review on his very first book, um, Born on a Tuesday. So if you haven't watched that video already, please, you know, do that. And um, that is why, because I did a review on his book like a few weeks ago, I really would not be talking about, you know, his background and the rest of them because I actually did that in the previous video. So I will just keep that and go right into the review of this book. But before I even start, I think I really need to say a big thank you to Francis Energy for actually sending me this book book because after watching my previous review he you know thought I should read this text and I am so happy thank you so very much for sending me this book um so yeah let's just start so um this review is going to be a little weird because like the author said never ever explain satire if you really want to know what it takes to be a Nigerian this book is all you need this book is actually a dummy's guide to becoming a Nigerian. If you're able to understand what this book is talking about, then you, you'll be able to understand the Nigerian society and the Nigerian economy and the Nigerian people. In less than 150 pages, this author was able to break down everything it takes to be a Nigerian. And Nathan did a very amazing job in trying to capture the Nigerian society. I really would not say he tried to capture the Nigerian society because he actually captured the Nigerian society, but he did it in a very funny way. And it's very sad that most of the things he talked about are actually true. The very first topic in this text is in the beginning. So in this particular section of the text, the author tried to capture the beginning of everything, the beginning of dictatorship, the beginning of corruption, the beginning of Nigeria, the beginning of like everything really. The next section of this book is where he titled spirituals and under this broad topic spirituals, he has other subtopics like how to serve the Nigerian God, how to be a pastor, how to be, you know, all these things. And it is really, really cool. So Nigerians actually pray about everything. It doesn't matter what we're coming to do. Once there's a gathering, there must be a form of prayer. And that is very typical of Nigerians. So it doesn't matter if you're coming to steal ballot boxes. It doesn't matter if you're coming to plot how to kidnap somebody. It doesn't matter how, if, you, if you're coming to maybe try to kill somebody, you must pray before you start. Even though Nigerians see religion as something that is very useful in our lives, we don't do good things because of religion. Rather, we turn a blind eye to things because of religion. And Luther actually talked about how to be a pastor in Nigeria, where like he satirizes pastors and spiritual leaders in Nigeria because they, to an extent, take the church to be their own personal business. Really, they get to do whatever it is they want to do. And when people try to ask questions or people try to call them to order, they say, touch not my anointed because God said not to do this. God said not to do that. But deep down in their hearts or in the hearts of pastors, they know that what you're doing is wrong. You know, it's actually quite funny that we have this many churches in Nigeria and Nigeria is still one of the most, you know, corrupt nations of the world. One would think that a country as spiritual as Nigeria would be, you know, less corrupt but we all know that that's really not the case there's also this section that the author talked about how nigerians conduct meetings a meeting can be scheduled for 9 a.m but people will not be surprised if that meeting starts by 12. i mean we are nigerians we have nigerian time oh and there's also this part where somebody will stand up in a meeting and be like oh i don't want to take a lot of your time i don't plan to take a lot of your time honey just prepare yourself you'll be there for 10 hours if you have a meeting that's supposed to be by 10 o'clock just prepare yourself in nigeria it will start by 12 sometimes one. Oh, and if it starts by two nobody will care because oh you know the boss has not come and do you know the funny thing if you are somebody that's trying to meet like um a well-placed person in nigeria and the person tells you to come by two o'clock don't be surprised when you're made to wait for three hours to see that person that actually told you to come at a certain time because it is normal like if you're a boss in nigeria you can waste people's time and nobody cares like it's your right really it's your right to waste our time so it's only in this country that a writer will tell you something as embarrassing as um i don't read much as a matter of fact i i want to be original i don't want people's ideas to conflict with mine it's very normal to be a writer in nigeria and not do your research really you just 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 tell us you want to be original and we get to read your book 
that's all you need really nigerian journalists and reporters are just the best like they care so much about us that they don't want us to feel so bad so even if there's a crisis somewhere and a hundred people die they just feel that it is their, 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 their duty you know to tell us that 10 people died just so we don't feel bad also to show that you're a true nigerian make sure you disturb everybody like don't have a care whatsoever if you're disturbing the, the whole neighborhood just make sure you express yourself by making a lot of noise so if you get a new car for example honk when your child cries honk when your wife is wasting your time honk if your tire is bad just do whatever it takes to make sure you make noise like i said is your right make as much noise as you want so even if you have just two two people in your church just make sure you use a loudspeaker like so everybody will know that you are in church okay that's like the only way really that's and anybody that tells you anything is either sent by the devil or the person is just you know jealous in order to be a good nigerian make sure you're a good prayer warrior make sure you do not walk don't don't you walk if you want to be rich sit in your house and pray so yeah if you're having bad governance we should pray about it if you're having electricity problem we're definitely going to pray about it i mean come on because we have witches and wizards everywhere so they're everywhere make sure you pray when you have any problem because that is like the only way you can be a true nigerian honestly this may seem like a joke but it baffles me the kind of things we take for granted in this country like people in this country we feel it's normal to have a bad government it's normal to rig election and steal ballot boxes it's actually normal to attribute all your failures to the gods of your village or the people in your village trying to you know steal your destiny and all of that it's actually very normal for people to make a lot of noise and waste your time so all these things that nigerians see as normal is what elmita is trying to address in this his text titled becoming nigerian so basically this text is um a text that talks about the flaws of being a Nigerian or the flaws of our country, but in a very funny way that makes you laugh about them. But in the long run, you have to, if you have any sense at all, you have to sit back and think about all these things. So that's basically what this book is about. I honestly would not say that I did justice to this book because like the author said never ever explain satire you would get the whole gist of this book if you try to read it yourself so um yeah and this is the end of today's review if you enjoyed it do not forget to like share comment turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i post another video guys subscribe 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 and i'll see you guys next week Mwah.